raptors, hunters of the sky, sentinels of the ecosystem, citizens of the natural world, eagles, hawks, falcons, owls, and vultures. These amazing birds soar the skies worldwide. If you look carefully, you can find them in just about any habitat, including our cities and suburbs. But what is a raptor? What do all these species have in common? Raptors are top of the food chain predators with three common characteristics. First, they have exceptional eyesight to spot well camouflaged prey. Second, they have sharp, powerful talons to catch and carry their prey away. Lastly, all raptors have a hooked beak to help tear their food into smaller pieces. Raptors are found all over the world. Many migrate, crossing borders freely as they move between breeding and wintering grounds. Some peregrine falcons breed in the tundra of North America and then migrate more than 7,000 miles to Argentina for the winter. While these magnificent birds have ruled the skies for thousands of years, their world is changing. As their environment is altered at an increasingly rapid pace, they face new challenges. Luckily, there are people committed to addressing these challenges. Located in the United States of America at the University of Minnesota, the Raptor Center is a global leader in the medical and surgical treatment of raptors. Like many of the raptors it cares for, the Raptor Center has an international reach. Students from around the world come to study in its medical clinic, which treats around 700 to 800 injured or ill raptors every year. In addition, the center provides environmental education to hundreds of thousands of people in the local community each year. The highlight of these programs is the center's resident raptors, over 30 permanently disabled birds that can no longer live in the wild and now act as ambassadors for their wild cousins. Critical to the Raptor Center's work is the involvement of the community. In 1974, the center began as a grassroots effort for change. Since then, Thousands of volunteers have generously given their time and energy, and millions of dollars have been donated to support its work. Today, it is still a non-governmental organization supported by the community. Many raptors migrate, breeding during the summer in the northern hemisphere and spending the other half of their lives in the southern hemisphere. Their ability to survive depends on the health of several ecosystems. It is not enough to protect their habitat in just one place. It is critical that they have a safe place to breed, sufficient food, water, and habitat along their migratory route, and a sustainable wintering ground. Migration links countries and continents. Raptors do not recognize political boundaries. Who do they belong to? Who is responsible for the young osprey that hatches in North America, then spends the next two years in South America? Think about the Swainson's hawk, which breeds in the western prairies of North America and winters in Argentina. For many of these birds, it is critical that Central America, which provides a vital connecting bridge for these birds during migration, provides safe food and habitat for the journey. The work done at the Raptor Center has a significant global impact. Many areas of the world have similar patterns where raptors migrate from the far north to the south. A high percentage of the raptor species admitted to the Raptor Center are migratory. Flying south during the cold winter months and returning to breed when the temperatures are warmer and food is plentiful. Because these birds do not recognize political borders, the work done in one country impacts many others. Raptors are birds of the world. The need to protect them and their habitats goes beyond political and cultural boundaries. We must all work to ensure the health and safety of these magnificent birds, not only for today, but for the many generations to come.